Maintaining the Defender Harness and Lighting System The Peterson MaxiSeal Defender Harness and Lighting System consists of four components. The central distribution module, the nose box, a variety of modular harness components that connect to the central distribution module, and Peterson Luminex LED lights. The special characteristics of these components make servicing trailers and dollies equipped with Defender unlike any other harness system. This video will help you properly understand the unique maintenance and diagnostic requirements of Defender. Disassembly and Maintenance The Central Distribution Module There is no requirement to perform scheduled preventative maintenance on the Defender system. Do not disassemble the modular harness plugs from the central distribution module unless diagnosis or repair is needed. If it becomes necessary to remove the clamp on the module, you will need to perform complete maintenance on all three connections on that side of the module. First, remove as much debris as possible from around the plug heads prior to disassembly. Compressed air is useful to dislodge dirt and dust from around the plug head. Remove the plugs by pulling straight out, and then remove the silicone seals. Thoroughly clean all open module ports. Thoroughly inspect each plug and port, looking for signs of damage or corrosion. If corrosion is found, it will be necessary to remove and replace the distribution module and all affected harness components. Remove any debris or contaminants from the face of the remaining Defender plugs. After inspection and any necessary repairs, install new silicone seals, which are available from MaxiSeal as part number HW222. Add dielectric grease to the pin terminals. There are two types of clamps. If the old style clamp was removed, reassemble using the new style splash deflecting clamp cover. The new clamp part number is HW 573 for side A and HW 574 for side B. Use only stainless steel bolts with thread locking nylon patches. These are available from Maxi Seal as MSLP 0008. When replacing the distribution module, bolts and seals will be provided with the new module. It is imperative that the clamp bolts be torqued to 60 inch pounds. Over-torquing the clamp bolts will damage the distribution module and require its replacement. Disassembly and Maintenance Nose Box and J560 Receptacle A poor connection at the J560 receptacle is typically due to the plug deforming and not fully locking into place, which promotes wear and deterioration. The Defender receptacle is now 3 eighths of an inch deeper. This cuts down on rocking and locks into place more positively. There is no reason to open the nose box unless system diagnostics requires it. When disassembly is needed, carefully remove the mounting bolt nuts. Do not attempt to force frozen fasteners loose. This could strip the carriage mounting threads. If a nut seizes, use a nut splitter to remove it. Whenever opening the nose box, add dielectric grease to the ring terminals and the enclosed female terminals for the J560 receptacle. The nose box may be equipped with a gasket made of felt or rubber. If the old style felt gasket is present, replace it with the newer reusable rubber gasket, part number HW555. If the J560 receptacle requires replacement, use Maxi Seal replacement receptacle, part number HW411. A damaged J560 receptacle can be replaced without further disassembly. The connector retaining nuts and the nuts around the perimeter of the nose box faceplate must be torqued to 80 inch pounds. Applying excess torque may result in irreparable damage to the nose box components. Disassembly and Maintenance Luminex Lights No scheduled preventative maintenance is required for Peterson Luminex Lights. As with the other parts of the Defender system, connections should not be disconnected unless repair or replacement is required. There is no periodic PM needed. The functional diagnosis of lighting components is included as part of the Defender troubleshooting flowchart. Lights functionality can be determined by bench testing the light from a power source of the proper voltage and by replacing the light with a known good unit. When working with Luminex lights, 
Do not grease the silicone sealed connectors. Greasing the terminals will prevent the silicone seal from seating properly and will lead to undue corrosion. Apply dielectric grease to 180 bullet connectors anytime they are disconnected or replaced. Troubleshooting Defender Peterson provides a troubleshooting guide to help you identify and repair trailer electrical issues. Defender's modular construction and integrated moisture barrier will change how you troubleshoot problems. Wire positions in Defender plugs are consistent in regard to function and color-coded. Since power is provided to the central distribution module for all functions, there is no need to diagnose from the nose box back. Instead, diagnose from the malfunction. Defender's modular design and integrated moisture barrier stops the migration of moisture between components, so damage due to corrosion should not affect other parts of the system. Defender is a sealed system from the nose box all the way to the lights. At no time should the insulation on any component be punctured with a continuity probe for testing. This is never necessary, and doing so will void the Defender corrosion warranty. Field Repairs We know that sometimes a temporary field repair may be required to get a damaged trailer or dolly back on the road. If this becomes necessary, use only glue-filled heat shrink splices and arrange for the affected components to be replaced as soon as possible. Before replacement, ensure that the new harness has the appropriate conductors and is the proper length. Take care to route the harness component as originally installed and keep wires tucked in well away from any moving parts. We hope this tutorial has given you a greater understanding of the unique characteristics of the Defender Modular Harness System. The team behind the Defender System is committed to providing the most reliable, most efficient harness and lighting equipment available. If you have any questions or concerns about maintaining Defender-equipped vehicles, call Maxi Seal Customer Service at 816-841-6700. Thank you for watching.